Lauren Boebert is one of these very far right radical congresswomen that we discuss on occasion. And uh, she, it looked like, was going to maybe lose her congressional race, which was completely wild because this was supposed to be a safe district in this Colorado third district, if I'm not mistaken, where she's the current representative. Uh, there was redistricting done that made it more red, more easy, more safe for her to win. But still, um, her challenger came so close, so, so, so close to getting defeated. And unfortunately, it looks like she's going to pull it through and win. Now, they're doing a recount. I've seen that some uh, the media outlets haven't even called it. They're going to wait, I guess, until the recount's done, which is a rare occurrence. And that's how tight this race is. But it looks like she's leading right now, and usually recounts don't uh, swing too many votes, and so she'll likely stay in that seat. But it's still notable. Here's her declaring victory. Hey, everyone. Great news tonight, as almost all the votes have finally been tallied. I'm told that there are less than 200 votes outstanding, which makes me so happy to announce we have won this race. With this victory and with Republicans in control of the House of Representatives, we can focus on the issues that actually matter most. Like Hunter Biden. Including getting inflation <laughs> under control, increasing our domestic energy supply, <laughs> securing the southern border, and being a strong check on the White House. Now, over the next couple of weeks, this race will have an automatic recount, which will be completed in early December. My campaign team and our lawyers will definitely make sure everything is conducted properly. Past recounts in Colorado have resulted in far fewer votes being adjusted than anything that could affect the current outcome we're seeing tonight in this race. So come January, you can be certain of two things. I will be sworn in for my second term as your Congresswoman and Republicans can finally turn Pelosi's house back into the people's house. Thank you to every volunteer that made calls, not doors. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> inspirational. So, so inspirational. Um, you know, we're going to turn Pelosi's house where historic investment in infrastructure were passed, historic investment in climate change response, lowering prescription drug costs, capping the cost of insulin. We're going to take that, those horrible actions that were taken, and make it your house and investigate Hunter Biden the entire time. And that's all we're gonna talk about. So, woo-hoo for mm -hmm. that. Here's from the Washington Post, Republican Representative Lauren Boebert, a renowned conservative firebrand whose combative style helped define the new right, is likely headed to an automatic recount in her bid to fend off a surprisingly difficult challenge by a Democratic businessman from the ritzy ski town of Aspen. The Associated Press has declared the election in uh, Colorado's 3rd Congressional District too close to call. AP will await the results of a potential recount to call the race. With nearly all votes counted, the incumbent Boebert leads Democrat Adam Frisch by 0.16 percentage points, or 551 votes out of nearly 327,000 votes counted. We'll continue on in a second, but this is an example of why when people go, voting doesn't matter, <laughs> 551, that's so few people mm. that almost <laughs> your vote directly mattered in this race. Uh, as the Washington Post continues, a margin that small qualifies for an automatic recount under Colorado law in a race that has garnered national attention as Republicans try to bolster their advantage in that U.S. House after clinching a narrow majority Wednesday night. So a recount will happen. We'll see if anything changes there. Likely it won't, and she will stay a congresswoman, which of course is a bummer. And the other thing is her, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and some of these particularly radical individuals, because of how thin the majority is in the House, it is so razor thin that just a handful of Republicans will get to make huge decisions, meaning Marjorie, Boebert, a few other of these people could make a little block, their little American, um, not American, Congressional Freedom Caucus, I think it's called, of the kind of most far right people, and dictate whatever they want because they can cause Kevin McCarthy's life to be hell if they don't go along with his agenda, whatever it might be. Again, really, I don't know any proposals they're actually pushing for other than bizarre investigations and possibly impeaching Biden or something. Um, but 
it gives the Boberts, it gives the Marjorie Taylor Greens a lot of power. And we're going to have to be dealing with that over the next two years until hopefully in 2024, Democrats could take back the House. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get access to an extra full show every Saturday that only members can see, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley, and there is a link in the description.